I really love discovery. You have a hypothesis, you do an experiment, what are you gonna find? It's hard, right? Like science is hard. And dance is very much like that too. Work ethic and discipline. Like you hit that lift and it's just like, this can work. A bold public effort to focus on a complex set of diseases fueled by a $1.8 billion government investment, supporting more than 240 research projects across 70 initiatives driven by team science and data sharing, changing the culture of research to reduce the burden of cancer on everyone whose lives are affected. Cancer Moonshot. My name is Dr. Kimberly Stegmeyer. I'm a pediatric oncologist in physician sciences, and I'm leading one of the Moonshot Fusion Aqua Protein Consortium teams. And we're in my lab here. I'm also a ballerina. <laughs> I um, danced for many years. Hi, I'm Diana. Our Fusion Aqua Protein team is focused on the pediatric cancer viewing sarcoma. Ewing sarcoma is driven by a fusion alpha protein, most commonly known as the EWSY fusion. So what, what are these fusion alpha proteins? You know, what does that mean? Kids with cancer have a fusion in their cancer that drives their cancer. What we observe is that there can be breaks in the chromosomes, and these breaks occur at genes. And then those chromosomes at those breaks can fuse together. And then you can get a gene essentially that has part of one gene and part of another fused together. And then that gene encodes for now a very abnormal protein. And that abnormal protein can promote cancer. It also can sustain the growth of the cancer cells. And so if we eliminate that fusion, the cancer cells will no longer grow. And because fusions impact at least half of childhood cancers, this is a really important problem in pediatric cancers. And so the Moonshot is incredible in that it's allowing large-scale team science. It's built collaborations, not just within the teams, but across the teams. It's just really energized the field, and we can see the progress already that's coming out of the discoveries from this funding. The Moonshot Fusion Oncoprotein team has identified a chemical that may stabilize the cancer-promoting EWS fly protein in an inhibitory form. They have developed a test that can help identify drugs that may degrade the EWS fly protein, the key cancer-promoting fusion protein in most Ewing sarcoma tumors. And they have identified a protein that regulates the levels of EWS fly. The next step, find a drug to target this regulatory protein. They have also identified other proteins that may be critical to the survival of Ewing sarcoma cells and could potentially be targeted as Achilles heels. And so the Moonshot funding has been really catalytic for the study of fusion-driven pediatric cancers. So this is the space where we're doing all of our shot work in my lab. And each of the members of our team has their lab as well, where they are doing their moonshot work. The work that we're all doing together as part of this moonshot is going to help children with cancer. And it's also going to help adults with cancer who have fusion on proteins. There's this incredible excitement when you see data for the first time and you figured out a puzzle. It's a lot of hard work, it's very up and down, and it takes a fair amount of endurance, but the rewards are tremendous because what you do in the lab is ultimately gonna impact the patients that are treated um, in the clinics who really desperately need your investment in making their future better. The Fusion Oncoproteins and Childhood Cancers Consortium is being supported by the Cancer Moonshot, a White House initiative first launched in 2016 and reignited by President Biden in 2022 to accelerate the rate of progress against cancer. The National Cancer Act of 1971 
set the foundation for programs like Cancer Moonshot. 50 years of progress. Nothing will stop us. U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, National Institutes of Health, National Cancer Institute, cancer.gov, 1-800-4-CANCER.